morning. Yes, another day, another dollar. Another peso. Okay, I've ordered some party flags, but the guy is not answering, he's not showing up, nothing. So I'm gonna cancel. Um, that's the guy who was so excited last time to supply me with like 14 sheets of party flags and uh, four tons of gravel, but he's not showing up and he's not answering my messages. So, I guess that's the Philippines. So we found an alternative anyway. I'm the first one to arrive here this morning. Uh, Rojan won't be in. He's gone to a seminar, the barangay, local barangay seminar. I don't know what it's all about. Maybe he'll be invited as well, I don't know. Um, anyway. So only Georges, he wanted to pick up, get some water. Oh, that's not much water. George, Georges, you want me to buy water for you? No. You want me to buy water for you? That's only it. this? Maybe I'll go buy a bottle of water. <clears throat> Okay, so it's not a bit of a work here while well, Jason is preparing the timber for the Hardy Flex at the top of the house because that's what we're gonna do. And uh, we don't have to buy the 4.5 mil, can be the cheaper one. So what he's doing is putting some timber there in here and in here so how do you think you just fit in easily so it's preparing the timber up there it's very noisy this morning but, <laughs> but he's happy i bought him a new uh, measuring tape because he always taking mine sick of it so i have to buy him one so that's it that's my little present it's very good i like the you gotta spoil them. He's a good painter. <laughs> you got a bit of a black, black. Um, yeah, you can use that one if you want. You can you, you can put a little bit more black here, brown. Yeah. Yeah. It's not much but, left, but, but the, protect the timber... better than this one. Uh, the light, the light slignum. Light is okay, but it's okay. I but think the brown is more efficient. I believe. Yeah, That's yeah. what I've been told in the shop. Uh, I don't know if it's true, but it's okay. This one? No, this one here, just in front of you here. Yeah, still a little bit. Maybe put more, more half, and finish this. Yeah. Yeah, squeeze. <laughs> He's got sense of humor. That's good. Excellent. You can put a little bit of a light one here. Yeah, mix. mix. Like, you can you can add more light there. Yeah. Yeah. Make it almost full. Bloody things went up in price. Uh, Solignum clear one. Uh, it's 2020 peso now. I started in February. I remember I was paying 1,700. Everything's going up, guys. Everything's going up. I think uh, I missed half of those increases. Thanks God. But uh, in the last couple of months, everything's been going up. Or even more than that, three months maybe. All right, so I'm doing this now, guys. So I managed to screw this one in on the Hardy Flex. I got those uh, screw with a big thread and it seems to do the job. Doesn't mean I'm not going to put some uh, liquid nails on the air, all along the edges to hold, to hold a little bit better. So there's another one going in the middle here and uh, another one going up there. Yep, that's it. 
Okay, we put the old those timber there to hold the hardy flex. It's gonna be hardy flex, we decided. That's it. I think it's gonna look much better. It will be too much a macan if you put a macan all over the top. Hardy flex much better. Looks better. Let's close this door so we don't have any dust coming here. Yeah, the only thing I worry is this green bamboo doesn't get yellow. Should I be put on the sun or something? I don't know what we gotta do. How can we get a yellow quick? Hair dryer maybe? Or what do you think guys? Do you have any solution? I wanna finish those room pretty quick now. So we can start bringing things here. I don't want to do a big move in one go. I want to do slowly, slowly. I got a van so we can bring a lot of things step by step. Okay, this is what I've been working on. I know it's not finished. It's still, his to do is still two legs to install probably three four here and uh here there's another board going all the way but at least taking shape so i gotta put a couple of screw here and there so this thing doesn't fall okay but i will need to take it off uh I haven't screwed anything here. We can take the, the top easily. I'm just now set up to put more support here against the wall. But I need to take it off because I need to bring the scaffolding here to put the hardy flex there. But that's okay. At least uh, during that time, I'll have uh, all this ready. So no problem. Uh, big thunderstorm, so I don't know why. I'm with a meal, I just wondering if I should get heading home. I'm not sure. Finish preparing all those timber for the Hadi Flex. Yeah, looking good. Just this end too. I have to do two pieces of timber there like we did here good this hardy flex doesn't have to be 4.5 mil could be the size down should be fine and cheaper almost done you have to compact after that Getting really funny. I see I'm heading home now. Not looking good. Gonna start raining very soon. buy my lunch here and buy some pan for the workers every day and drinks okay good morning Jason's gonna go and see if he can get the truck from his uncle to go uh, deeper lock buy some Halifax, but this time only three three point two mil. We don't need a thick one. It's only for the top. Just to put all around here. So that should be good. Yeah, I don't put. I don't want to put a macan. It's too much. And if I knew, I would have done like this, everywhere. But a little bit of macan is okay. Like maybe just this wall. It's okay. 
But the rest should have been hardy flex, I guess. Next time. It's all down, so we're gonna leave the way it is. <coughs> oh, always a gorgeous morning here. Just imagine when I wake up in the morning with my cup of coffee. And I'm going to fix this table. Give a good uh, planning. Shorten the legs, put a, a normal height for a dining table. And we'll make some bench all around. I got so much timber under the house. We'll do like that, no problem. Uh, the same here for the kitchen cabinet. I was thinking buy another panel, but no way, it's too expensive. It's 1,800 per panel, four by eight. Very expensive. So I got a lot of timber on, under the house. I'm gonna make another bench here, like a bar, uh, out of the timber I got. Yeah, that should be no problem. Okay, let's go and see outside how we're going on the carport. Uh, almost finished, okay. It's about time. <laughs> That's good. There we just make a temporary stairs here, a ramp or something to go to the stairs up there. That's it. Yeah, get in there. It's good. Not enough dirt, so they're taking some dirt from these things the man did with a backhoe the other day. That's all right. Yeah, will barrel very handy this time. It's good. Okay, we got uh, Jason's dad in the car. We're gonna rent it. And we're gonna pick up those uh, Hardy Flex. Let's go. That's it, eight. I can't carry anything on those bikes. I won't be able to do this. This is what's good about Filipino. They're so smart. They manage to do things that we Westerners will never be able to do. Excellent. Okay, we're getting some uh, rebars, 9mm. So the top of the couple. We also bought uh, four by four. We got three pieces, eight feet long, to put on one side of the carport. The other side's got already a fence post to hold the roof, so that's okay. Sir, I need... Okay, get in there, that's it. Going home now. Okay, I have this at home for a while, I never use it, so I thought I'd bring this here. And uh, so I can cut this the best I can, 45 degrees, that's all I've got. So, 
let's do one, see what happens. Okay, anyway, the main thing is uh, find a way to cut those things 45 degree without much problem. So let's go to the next job now. I got those things ready to be installed. Um, let's try to finish those room. Okay, it's good. I need to cut the length. Okay, so look what's happening outside. So we're now putting some gravels before concreting. Uh, look what's coming there again. I don't think it's going to be a full day today. They're gonna have enough gravel there. There's so much to do. See so how we go. This guy always working hard. George's very good man. Yeah, it's progressing. Uh, I've been doing some vanishing inside, as you could see, the small bedroom floor. And for whatever reason, I start the walls on our bed main bedroom. So let's keep going. Okay, you can see the difference between the top here has been vanished and the bottom hasn't been vanished yet. So that's good. Give a bit of a shiny aspect that's good the other side has been completed you can see the post it's looking good no more direct contact with solignum because <laughs> that that was 100 percent pure solignum anything which is part of the structure of the house is 100 percent solignum okay let's continue let's do this bottom side now okay i just finished vanishing this wall including the post this does okay this wall is done i took off a little bit of uh, bamboo it was here i don't know it wasn't needed throw everything out of balance this already is so <laughs> um i think we should do something to this window to balance the bamboo we should put maybe a little piece here and another piece here just to balance the whole thing looks funny anyway tomorrow's another day so that's it guys there's a big big cloud coming up i need to order some gravel for those people because they're gonna run out of gravel very soon uh, and i'm gonna head in north because look what's coming really bad so I'm getting ready and on the way we'll order some gravel and more plastic varnish. So that's it for now. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, good morning, another day, another dollar. We got problems. No more gravel. And the people next door there, they don't have until next month. So I've sent uh, 
Jason to go there and talk to them. I know they got ready mix, but that's more expensive. So we'll see what kind of price it's gonna give him. Um, and also the other things, I've been texting this guy who supplied me this gravel last time for cubic meter, he's not answering. I tried to order Hadiflex, he's not answering. There's been no problem between us, absolutely nothing. I don't know whether he's sick or whether because there's a fiesta around here. So I'm not sure. So we need to find gravel somehow. Uh, Jason went up there to talk to them. So what they got, they got a ready mix. Ready mix is a, it's not really a pea size. It's a more like a, something like this mixed with cement, ready for concrete. So 850, which is not expensive. So we're probably going to do that. We can't get stuck here. So we will do that. I will order some on my way, uh, on my way down there. For they will bring tomorrow today they're still on fiesta and most of the people don't work in this area <laughs> it's a fiesta okay so it's all resolved so i've got one guy now packed in this area and getting ready for concrete work in the meantime uh too heavy yep <laughs> it's okay it's okay all right so we're gonna make a bit of a step here at this stage because it's getting very slippery danger here so let's fix this not just for me but uh we'll probably get uh, if you get jm and the baby visiting you can't get through this it's too dangerous when it's ran it's very slippery so they're gonna do a bit of a stepping here to to the house uh a gorgeous morning. So Jess is gonna put the hardy flex all around there. Uh, okay, so glue on position, and I put a few stuff to hold it together. So I have to wait to dry. It's a liquid nail, so it won't be dry until tomorrow super hot here so the shirt went off <laughs> it's too hot if you just sit there or something it's okay but if as soon as you do ex you do something activities it can get pretty hot oh it didn't open all the windows probably why let's do that Oh, I can feel a little bit of a breeze. Okay, this one's open. This one goes. My God, no wonder. I'm sure it'll be much better now. Okay. Yeah, I can feel a little bit of fresh air coming in now. It's good. Oof. Okay. Okay, Robert's coming soon, bring some food. So I just cleaned all this area. Can't wait this all down. It'll take a while. So look who's here, hey, first time here my love, no it's the second time but this time there's a lot of things around, she found a little bit strange, yeah. my poor baby, she's got a, how we call it? I need the goosebump, oh yeah goosebump, apparently this baby thinks, hello, hello my love, okay so, uh, inspectors here. <laughs> Let's go and see uh, 
Isabella bedroom has progressing. Yeah, here's a lot of work. Okay, this bedroom is all done. Just finishing this. This is gluing now. That's why I put things there to hold. But all done otherwise. You like, huh? You like? Yeah. That needs another cut, this door. Need to polish a little bit yeah. and put another yeah. cut. Some for the windows. Okay, you happy, Bella? This is your bedroom, baby. And you haven't seen your swimming pool that Uncle Robert bought for you. Here it is. Well, turn around? Yeah. Uh. Ooh. Oh, what's that, baby? <laughs> okay. Can you swim? See, you forgot to bring a fan, but we can sit outside of the, the veranda. It's, it's not bad. Let's go up there. Okay, we're here together on the veranda for the first time. Hey eh, baby, you like it? Yeah, gorgeous. Okay. Oh, Robert arrived. Monsieur Robert. Oh, smell <coughs> beautiful. That's the pen set. Mm. Oh, Robert, Ben's it. This is what? Ribs. Ribs. Whoa. That's did, macaroni did you bring... sa sardine salad. Sardine salad. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> we spoiled. <clears throat> we, we brought some bananas. Let's, let's go with this. <laughs> oh no, I got one. <clears throat> oh my God. I need, we need to drive, man. Look at this. What? And I brought one, but more, more for the ladies. I thought I thought you're gonna bring something like this. Oh yeah. Oh my God. So we're gonna get drunk. <laughs> Is that chicken satay? Oh yum. And two more chair. Wow. Hey, you brought glasses. This is for the pencil. Okay. <laughs> Robert's organized all this. And he did a, a sardine salad. Oh my god. So much food. You don't have to do dinner. Uh, look at this. Woo. Are we going to finish all this now? So much food. Hey guys. <laughs> you should try the peanut bed. So I nice. will, I will, I will. Uh, the workers are a bit shy, but they all eat it up there with a big bottle of coke. Okay, yay! <laughs> Yoo hoo! They're happy. Oh, dear. oh, that's a video. That's okay. I will use it. <laughs> Baby, you enjoy the food? Yeah, she's eating. Oh, yes. She said, Nom, Nom. Nom bit. <laughs> You hear? She got. Mm. Every, every time she eats our food, she goes. T'aimes bien le parrain, la manger à parrain? <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe this. That ribs. That take 24 hours to cook. How much? 24 hours. Yeah, I'm not surprised. You marinate you know, in first. Oven. In the oven? Uh, no, first what I'm doing, I'm taking that frozen. Mm -hmm. I put with ginger, garlic, onion, and chicken broil, and I broil that for two, three hours, so the the, the meat get the flavor inside. After that, I do my sauce, and I put in the oven for a good twelve hours. Oh. Everybody gonna know your recipe, but I don't I'm care. Gonna take, no, no, I'm gonna I don't take care. that off. <laughs> you need to sell it. You should, you should. 
Là, c'est délicieux, c'est bien cuit, bien saisonné. Si c'est les Français, ils ont le palais hein, pour les bonnes choses. Si tu vois le gars que j'ai pour les épices, c'est bon. Oui, tu es arrivé à trouver tous les épices ici Non, il n'a jamais. Hein, ouais. Il n'a jamais du Canada. Il n'a que j'ai trouvé à Cacayan de Oro. Ici, ils n'ont pas grand-chose, les épices.